Hello, this is the Saturday wrap. Yeah, and I've shaved my head again for Saturday, the 5th of September 2020. My look back on last week basically, tech, beer, and lifestyle orientated, I think. Anyway, the word or phrase for this week is Smurfs and operating systems. I'll expand on that as we go along. In fact, the last time you saw me, um, you didn't actually see me. It was just a picture. Um, I was testing audio ship um, because I was um, short on bandwidth and I was posting from the postal order in Worcester, a rather good bank holiday Beano. In fact, it was excellent. And after the postal order, I went on to the Triple B Belgian Beer Cafe in Copenhagen Street. Slight irony there. And on a table on the way to the toilet, they had three Smurfs around it. Because if you sat at that table, it was less than two meters away from the other tables. So we didn't want people sitting there. And the best method of doing that was to put Smurfs in the chairs. I think... I think that was absolutely excellent and I'm very impressed and I went there two days running and I really really want to go back there and another thing about the Beano was no cash was spent at all it was all either contactless via Apple Pay or just online paying for the car park <sighs> I've just reconciled my visa bill. Um, everything I do practically is contactless. This is sort of worrying because who controls the payment systems controls the people. And these just are big, and I'm not being racist here, I hope not, big American companies and we have no control over them. Even though my... Um, well, I'm not going to tell you who my credit card is with, but it's a UK company. Yeah, I can remember when I used to go around Europe interrailing, there used to be signs everywhere saying a bank America card cashless Europe. Well, Britain's fairly cashless at the moment. And I know it's safer. You don't have to touch money and such like. And you don't end up with a pocket full of shrapnel, which goes through the bottom of your pockets. But... Hmm is just that thought anyway on a related subject be no journeys i left at i think it was about five o'clock in the morning last saturday and i got to michael wood services and north on the m5 just before six i was dawdling along it was just getting light then and i just feel that i missed out on all the early morning driving in the light Beano's. I'd planned to go to Exeter um, around about the longest day of the year. So I could drive down the M5 in the, um, in the light. Well, that didn't seem to work. And I still haven't done it. And I think I'm planning on doing it soon. But it doesn't get light at the moment until about 25 past 6. Well, that's the official lighting up times. Um, usually about half an hour before that it tends to get light dependent on the amount of cloud because we are now in autumn and it's not exactly on autumn I can't even say it, autumnal or Indian summer it's not raining today but it's a bit cloudy but what can you do anyway um, uh, that's one of the things that happens so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, Bank Holiday Monday. Came back then. I left. I left at 6 o'clock in the morning. And it was just about light. And the journey down the M5 was quite nice. Because it was early on a Monday morning. And I was going in the opposite direction to all those holiday makers coming home. And it was good. Yeah. Bank Holiday Week. Very strange. Um, a Tuesday, back into work, over spoons for lunch. And it was the first Tuesday for a while that wasn't a rushy rush day. 
and the spoons was back to, I hesitate to say normal because little COVID-19 precautions and all sorts of things and people standing on the doors and having to sign in and not many cascales on because people are just aren't drinking enough and there's not enough people going in there. And I did mention again, keg. However, the response came back camera and camera as well. Um, we just need a better selection of beers. Unless we get all going to get out there and have 49 pints each of real ale, it's not going to work. So a bye-bye Rishi in Spoons. Although I believe a number of restaurants and such like are carrying on. Ooh, just a thought um, from the blog of retired Martin NHS, who's, no, I'm not sure where he is. I think he's in Exmouth at the moment. And he says restaurants are for booking, not pubs completely and utterly correct i was having a look at going to tiny rebel in newport today because the buses to newport are now hourly which is better however you need to book into tiny rebel and they only allow six people inside and it's only a maximum of two hours that can't be right um but it is um, so hence, I'm at home today with the bandwidth and my face. Ah, and I can hear the processor spinning up a bit and the fans, so whatever. Anyway, lots of operating system updates, or updates on updates this week. Midweek, iOS and iPad OS 13.7 dropped. Uh, iOS had the... Almost you don't need an app for contact tra tracing update in it. However, if you're thinking, I don't want to have that and all whatever, piles and piles of security updates as well. So install it. Um, the tracing is off by default. But if you go into Spoons, you've got to fill out a form or use the online thing, which I do. Um, the issues I had with Windows 10 Update 2004 um, have now been communicated to Lenovo on the community boards and I'm always worried about community boards because how many Lenovo people read them and we need to check it later to see if I've had any reply but I'm still on 1909 um, so that's the Windows and the iOS updates I updated Premier Elements 2020 on my Mac so I'm now all 64-bit um, that means I can go up to Catalina. I don't think I will. I think I'll wait for Big Sur and then Big Sur's first update. Mojave seems fine for me at the moment. And I know people have gone to Catalina and said they wish they'd stayed. So operating systems and um, constantly updating, constantly troublesome. Well, at least for me. So uh, the last thing. I, I was wandering around Pontypridd a number of times in the week for various reasons. And the new fashion seems to be wear masks under chins. And to be perfectly honest, some of them look fairly scruffy and dirty. Um, as far as I understand, masks are there to prevent you spraying out infected virus laden air. And you don't really need them outside because... There's lots of air circulating, so there's no need. And if you're wearing them indoors, which is your prerogative, yeah, over the full face. That includes the nose. And yeah, don't leave them scruffily underneath your chin. They don't work so well that way. <laughs> ah, interesting times we're living in. Who'd have thought? Anyway, um, my plan now, uh, out in the back garden for an alcohol gel heated cup of coffee. And then on the Trangia, I've got some bacon from Aldi. So I'll have a bacon roll. Or maybe two. While I still can, because autumn. Anyway, thank you very much. Bye-bye.